Hey guys, Kieran here from Glitch Free Gaming, and today we're going to talk about our overall game of the year list. This is a list that is a kind of combination of uh, top 10 lists that uh, were made by Paul, Mike and myself, and we kind of sat and argued about out of the games in those three top 10 lists, what were the top 5 that we could kind of come to an orderly conclusion on. So most of these games are stuff that you will have seen on the other Game of the Year videos if you've watched them, if you haven't, please go watch them. And Others are, you know, ones you'll... Uh, surprises. So let's get started right away with our number five game of the year. And that game is Cuphead. Cuphead's a weird one because it didn't end up in any of our individual top fives, but kind of overall, it, you know, just managed to work its way up there into our overall game of, uh, game of the year top five, just because we all really love that game. In particular, just like, look at it. Just look how nice that game looks. There's no other game that looks like that. It helps that it's also a really solid boss rush, platformer, shooter game. Especially given, like, I, I personally do not like that style of game. I hate boss rushes in games. But Cuphead made me love them. And it's just so much fun. But again, just fucking look at that game. <sighs> Cuphead, number five. So setting our number 4, we have Splatoon 2 for the Nintendo Switch. Splatoon 2 is a real good one, where if you've watched Mike's list you'll already have heard a bit about it, and if you haven't, go watch his video, it's a good one. But basically, it's a third person shooter where you're a kid and then you're a squid and you're shooting ink and you're trying to take over area, well, you know, splat enemies and cover areas in your colour ink and destroy the opponent's coloured ink. And then there's also a variety of other game modes and stuff like that in it, and it's just really, really fun. Uh, the thing that Mike went on about most, and is honestly one of the best parts about it that makes it so much fun to come back to over and over, is they do these events called Splatfests, which are basically you pick a team between you know two choices. So uh, one of them was, do you prefer comedy movies or action movies? And everyone picks a team, you get a cool t-shirt that looks like you know, whatever the thing is you picked, and you get special coloured ink that is colour of whatever your team is, and you go out and you play a bunch of Splatoon 2, and at the end of the, usually it's over a weekend, it tallies up the amount of wins that everyone got in their teams, and it's just really, really good. It's so much fun. Uh, and then there's just all this other stuff, there's a really robust single player mode. There's a new mode called Salmon Run that is basically like a kind of wave based defense kind of horde mode, but they make it a bit more aggressive because you have to go and destroy these boss enemies to get salmon eggs and take them back to your base. It's just awesome. That's Splatoon 2, number 4. Now at number 3 we have Nier Automata, which is my overall game of the year but it didn't really show up in anyone else's list because I kind of played the most of it, but it's one of those ones where we've all played enough or seen enough of it that we can all agree that it's just a fantastic game. The story is just so unique and different and something you just don't see in games very much. The combat is platinum at its finest, it is Bayonetta style combat but in a JRPG awesome story with one of the best soundtracks in games ever. Some might say the best soundtrack of the year maybe. I need to go and listen to our podcast to find out if we did. But yeah, it's just amazing. There's just an awesome cast of characters, beautiful, beautiful soundtrack and an okay looking world to explore. That is Nier Automata, our number three game of the year. Is this their king? At number two, we have The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. So, this is such a weird one because in the past I've kind of been the one who has been kind of fanboying for Zelda on the podcast before, but Breath of the Wild is one that kind of won everyone over. It's just got this gorgeous open world to explore. It makes exploration fun again in open world games in a way that just kind of hasn't been done in a long time. Kind of renews a lot of the sense of wonder that open world games had when you played them, you know, back when they were a new idea. Back when every other game that came out wasn't an open world game. You know, back when every game wasn't just, hey, here's open world games with Batman combat, <laughs> which is kind of every game now. And it also helps that it's got all the Zelda charm, it's got brilliant music, it's got really well designed puzzles, it's got really fun to use weapons and armour and powers and things like that. 
and it's got some story as well. The story's not the best, but it, it, it's you know it's there, and it's just one of the best things I've ever played. I put over a hundred hours into that game this year, and I'm still picking it up to play it every now and again. My girlfriend, who doesn't play a lot of games, put probably at least you know hundred hours into it at this point. But yeah, uh, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild is our number two in our top five games of the year. And finally, the moment you've all been waiting for. Although, if you did watch the other videos, and again, if you haven't, you probably should go watch them. You probably already know what this game's gonna be. It showed up on all of our lists, and that is Super Mario Odyssey for Nintendo Switch. It's one of those things where you know that a 3D Mario game is gonna be great. Even if you're like me and you have some misgivings about Mario Sunshine, uh, it's still a great game. All of them are great. The weakest entries in this series are great, but Mario Odyssey is just its own unique cool thing. It took the Mario formula and just makes those hub areas that the 3D games have done so much larger and adds in so many different little kind of puzzles and cool platforming sections to get through. Some of them harder than others, some are relatively easy, but that just means that if you want to get towards the end of the game and you don't want to do all the hard stuff, sit and do the easy things. You do that. Or if you're like me and you're a completionist for Mario games, then you go and you do literally everything in that game. I am so close to getting every single moon in Mario Odyssey. I just finished one of the hardest levels in the game and I'm gonna finish everything. I finished the story in that game months ago at this point and it's one of those things where I could play that game forever if they just had more content in it. And there's tons of content in it already, I just mean if they kept indefinitely the content in it, I would happily play Mario Odyssey forever. It is the best game of 2017, and I love it. So that's it from us for this year. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed us doing some video stuff. We don't usually do this. This is our first year, well technically our second year, because a few years ago me and Paul sat and played Mario, eh, not Mario, eh, Mass Effect 3 for one of our Game of the Year videos, and that was alright. but. This is a bit more production heavy. Let's put effort in, let's put, you know, time in. We had to, you know, schedule things. We had to, you know, plan ahead, that kind of stuff. But it's been fun to do and a bit different. So please let us know if you enjoyed these and if, you know, if you will watch more of our video content. If, you know, you enjoyed this, please subscribe. Please give us feedback. Go check out the website at glitchfreegaming.com. You'll find us on Facebook and Twitter. Just search for Glitch Free Gaming and you'll find us. And. We're going to try and put more video content up over the next year. This isn't going to just be a once a year thing. You may have noticed we put up a couple of games videos towards the end of last year. And we're going to try doing more of that. Especially Switch stuff, just because we all love the Switch. Let's be honest. So yeah. Thanks for listening, guys. See you next time.